The crews had been warned of difficult conditions on Plymouth Sound with gusts of 30 knots. This was Survival Sunday. Energy team got their first ever dunking before the fleet race had even started. As they righted their AC45, Artemis Racing crashed into Greencom. Artemis was in the right and the Spanish team were given a penalty. Meanwhile, a race broke out. It wasn't long before China team went over. Artemis Racing had recovered from their crash but were risking everything to catch up. With the fleet scattered, James Spithill took his Oracle racing boat to the front of the fleet. And going into the fifth leg of nine, there were just a few seconds between the first three. Spithill was making up for a disappointing match racing campaign in Plymouth by leaving the others behind. The battle was for second between Emirates Tillman and Russell Coots on the other Oracle boat. For Spithill, it was survival and victory. I still think we had a little bit left in the tank, to be honest. Uh, we had a bit of San Francisco conditions. You know, definitely the wind speed was up there, but the puffiness of the breeze and the change in direction is what made it quite a challenge to sail. But, uh, geez, and what a fun race, though. Really enjoyable. The Kiwis won the battle for second, with Coots third, but as Spithill and his crew celebrated their Plymouth fleet racing title, Artemis ended their race in dramatic fashion. Alec Wilkinson in Plymouth.